Good morning, Jeep fans, convoy crazies, flat fender fanatics, and jerry can junkies. Johnny here, coming at you from Camp Kiwi. <laughs> so we had a little snafu yesterday in the electrical system, the old war horse. Uh, got to straighten that though, and got back off the trailer. Uh, let's see, what else notable? Nah, that's about it. That's about it. Stockton today. Let's take a look at the map. All right, so here we are. In Placerville. What a nice reception it was here. Looks like we're going on these back roads here. Formy Road, Pleasant Valley Road, Motherlode Road, Durock Road, Country Club Road, Bunch of Old Bass Road, White Rock Road. Cross and Bidwell Road. Bass Lake, Old Bass Lake, Old Bass Lake. There's a Bass Lake and an Old Bass Lake. And a Ting Tong Road. White Rock Road. White Rock Road. Down to. I don't even know what this is here. Well, I should get out my real map. How about it? Southland California 99 to Galt, which is where we're going to have our lunch. <sighs> Look, I don't know why we're. Looks like we're getting off the side ramp, the off ramp, and back on the on ramp. Is this to let traffic through? Oh, it's this Lincoln Way's next to the highway. I see. So Lincoln Way, next to 99, into Galt A Street, and then C Street, and then finally. From Galt South through Lodi, which uh, you guys ever hear that Creedence song, Lodi? Stuck in Lodi again. And then down into Stockton. Uh, VFW number 16. Here we go. This is. Map's a little confusing, so I'm gonna get out the big boy and look at it. Okay, so that makes a little more sense. Let's take a look at the map here. We are in Placerville. This is US 50 West, and we're going to skirt Sacramento, and then come down here on to California 99 South. Well, next to it, rather. The old Lincoln Way, was it? Down into Stockton. Then from there, Looks like we have about a CF tomorrow ahead of us, we'll, but a little birdie told me that the real deal chips, you know, like chips, the TV show, but the real deal is going to escort us. Uh, Holy smokes, 50 pounds of oil. 15 volts ought to get us somewhere. How about her?
Weber Creek Bridge, 1914. So this bridge would have been five years old when they crossed it a hundred years ago. My good friend Lamar up there, the moose lead, was just asking if I got my rig fixed. And they were talking about, um, you know, how skilled I am. And uh, they saw me underneath the dash, sitting in the seat with my legs up in the air underneath the dash, rewiring the Jeep last night, which I was. And I just want to say, I wouldn't have made it this far without everyone else in this convoy. It's all for one and one for all. It really is. And, uh, you know, everybody brings something to this. And uh, we, all, we, all, we all build off of each other and we all keep each other motivated and going. I wouldn't have made it this far without you guys, so I just want to say thank you to everybody.
So from what I understand, we're going to be uh, crossing a, a portion of the old original Lincoln Highway that now sits on private property, and that's why we saw that no outlet sign. Uh, it's not open to the general public, and we've been granted special permission to cross it. So, um, what an amazing experience, I should say. I'm excited. Here we go. <laughs> so they would have saw this very site a hundred years ago. We are on Lincoln Highway Concrete. Amazing. I never thought I'd see this day. We were on that with the Jeep on the last convoy. Down there with my truck on the last convoy. So we're running on original Lincoln Highway concrete. I never thought I would see this day. And we're closing up and we're going to take a break on the Lincoln Highway. Well, there's some beautiful aggregate in this concrete. Looks like a lot of river stone. Lanny. Yes, sir. We're standing on original Lincoln Highway concrete. No, 1.1 mile. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Are you super cattle fried, Joe? Oh no, that's the one. That's the fire hide, uh, fire Do extinguisher have, out of my home. Oh, so I'll just put that away when I get home. <laughs> I'm just happy I didn't have to use it. Yeah. So uh, I'm hanging out here with Willie, my friend Willie, and uh, we're brewing some hood coffee on the old Lincoln Highway, and uh, what a treat. What a treat it is to be here because this is all on private property. This isn't open to the public. So, uh, yeah, it's amazing. Just great. Isn't it? Yeah, just great. Just great. <laughs> Original concrete back there, folks. Wow. Wow, this is beautiful. And here's the end of this original concrete slab. Oh, no it's not. It's just a little hole in the ground there. Ha <laughs> ha! Rough riding, baby!
so deep. Did you hear that? The old lady threw a rock up on me. Hit my hit my top boat pole there. You stinker. Where the uh, center line on this highway used to be, the paint's long gone. Yeah, buddy, give me some of that. You can hear the old trailer bouncing around. It sprung a little stiffer than the war horse, so it gets jumping pretty good. And here we are, historic Lincoln Highway sign. Fitting, very fitting. What's the animation here, Hey, nice Jeep! <laughs> we've seen, this is the third time we've seen him today, I love it. And here we are! Yeah, we got 741. More than 90 degrees. Trailer's coming around and down we go. Oh, there's a bump here. <laughs> Someone likes to do donuts up here. And here we are back on the pavement. What a gift. That was an absolute gift, being able to run on the Lincoln Highway. And uh, you guys got to go too. I love it. So it was recommended that the long vehicles and the heavies did not go on that uh, Lincoln Highway section on account of that more than 90 degree turn that you guys saw us make at the end of the uh, at the end of the run there. So they pulled up here and uh, were waiting for us, and they're going to pull back into the convoy now. Proceeding straight. Copy that. Copy that.
Sacramento, the more apparent the California uh, fudge. The closer we get to the city, and the closer we get to the ocean, the more apparent the California affluence is. We were coming up over these hills, it was all dead grass, and out of nowhere you'd see a great big mansion on the hill. I got one of them. And then the gate, you had this gated access to the long driveway, and it's just pristine, freshly cut, deep green grass, fresh concrete, and a brand new gate. It's a stark contrast to the rest of the uh, burned fields around it. successfully made it to Galt, our lunch stop today, and uh, we were supposed to have police escort into downtown here, and instead of escorting us, they waited at every intersection along our route to make sure we came to complete stops and obeyed the traffic signals, so that was a little dirty, but what are you going to do? Yep, here we are, going to get some vittles. So folks, what we have right here is a Widowmaker. This is a uh, split rim ring that is whose ends are touching. That means that this rim may not be entirely seated. Uh, the ring may not be entirely seated on the rim. This is bad news bears. Don't let your split rims get like this. That ring could come off there and kill anything it gets in front of it. So just beware, watch out. And the uh, worst part about this is I'm parked right next to the guy. So. Hopefully we get out of here soon and I don't get 
blown up or something. Just gonna back away slowly. And listen, I hate being that guy that that guy that says something, but it's really a safety issue because you know, if that there rim let loose and there was a kid in front of it, it would kill the kid. There's so much force there, and they go with zero warning. You don't get it. You don't get a warning shot. I mean, they blow apart and the ring comes off, and of course, you guys hear stories. You know what happens, but. Yeah, check your check your split rims. If there's a gap there and it's seated correctly, you're good. If it's closed, you need to t tear that wheel apart and figure out what the heck's going on. You've got to take a grinder to it to open it up, and that's what you do. But yeah, no bueno. <laughs> this bridge is awesome. <laughs> You guys remember how Iowa and Nebraska had cornfields? As far as the eye can see, well, California has grapevines. As far as you can see. So we're in Stockton, we're coming up to uh, Country Club, we're making a right turn here. And uh, I'm going to probably get home and have about eight traffic tickets from the great state of California for blowing about eight stoplights today. The one I just ran, I saw a camera on it, hopefully it didn't capture my license plate. Oh well, America. We're in military vehicles, we're running them lights there, buddy. Well, we made it to the Legion in Stockton. We're sitting here cooling down in the air conditioning and waiting to have the driver's meeting for tomorrow, our last day of the convoy. It's bittersweet. Ready to go home, but I want to get together and drive all the way back across the country, back to York. And uh, that's the general feeling of most of the people I talk to. Exactly, actually. Ready to go home, but ready to keep going. So. It kind of sucks. Uh, the Legion of Honor Fountain 
Uh, we've reserved 51 parking spaces, all that they have up there, to park the convoy. So Advanced Bob will be up there uh, uh, figuring out where to stick all of our vehicles. And we'll park uh, around the uh, Legion of Honor Fountain. Uh, our local MVPA affiliate, the MVCC, Military Vehicle Collectors Club of California, will be up there to greet us uh, with sack lunches. So we plan on spending uh, an hour to an hour and a half up there. We're going to have our sack lunch, and then we're going to have a uh, uh, end of convoy ceremony at the uh, Lincoln Highway uh, Terminus Marker, which is right up next to the Legion of Honor Fountain. At that point, we're going to turn around. Uh, uh, San Francisco PD is going to escort us back. I uh, just got that approval today. So, well, they, they, uh, in 09, they gave us a half of a escort on the way back. They were there for, uh, let's see, it was a, it was like two left turns is, is where they were, and then we had to fight off the signal. So I think it's going to be a little better because I told them they were getting a lunch. <laughs> so we'll head back out. Uh, that'll be about 1 o'clock, 1.30, and head back over to the Hornet. We should be back to the Hornet by 2 to 2.30. Now, at that point, uh, we're, we uh, have advertised a static display. We're going to have almost all the vehicles there anyway. And this will be an opportunity for you guys that are using U-Haul to go run out and get your U-Hauls from the Oakland facility, which is about eight miles away. Holy cow, the horn works! <laughs> you guys ready for this? Check this out. Oh man, I wish this was in Pennsylvania instead of California. Hobart Weldon Machine Company. Oh man, Hobart Brothers, Troy, Ohio. Oh. Ah! Now come here and look at this. You ready for this? Wow! That's the Jenny. exhaust comes out. Hmm, I wonder if it's piped down through the floor. I could uh, I could definitely see myself in something like this, my friends. Heck yeah. Mobile welding unit, run down the road, burn some rods. Yeah, yeah, I need this in my life. Shucks. Well, that says Camp Ross, so I figure I'm allowed to go through here. And that's a what we're gonna do.